Hello everybody, my name is Don Roberts and this is my student uh, Keith Lowry. Uh, we're going to combine a couple of things uh, on the video this time. Uh, the first one is something that uh, you will see an article about in the OKU newsletter for March uh, entitled uh, Choki Motobu and the Element of Surprise. Uh, for those of you who don't, are not familiar with Master Motobu, he was uh, Karatika from Okinawa who uh, was very much noted for his ability in Kumite. Uh, he was uh, known for fighting a lot and was very good at it and a lot of uh, people who became very famous later went to him for Kumite lessons. Uh, one aspect of his training was something he called his 12 true fighting techniques. Uh, in these techniques, one thing that makes him work so well and they were proven on the street by him. That's one of the ways he uh, decided which techniques to keep was how they worked out in confrontation. Uh, was that uh, there was a part of it that had to do with a surprise element. So instead of a regular punch, you block here. What if it would say, well, you have to be hit with the other one. So. He wanted you to be close, but at the same time, not just close, but close and tricky. Uh, so here are a couple of his techniques uh, from his uh, 12 true fighting techniques, uh, technique number six and number nine. Uh, the attack uh, on both these is a, uh, is a punch to the face. So here, here, and then if he follows another punch, I follow with here with a back fist. And pull him out of the way and punch him here. And normal speed then. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, those of you may recognize some of this as uh, Matsumabuku's chart number one, uh, the one that's called Bridge of the Nose Punch. Uh, he, Shimabuku, redacted this technique from Master Motobu and put it in his system. The surprise element here is that instead of stepping back, here you're stepping forward and also simultaneously blocking as you strike him. So he has no chance to get away from this thing. So you strike him here. Now, there's always a what if factor. What if he somehow survives this and attacks with the other hand? You come here, you counterattack with the same hand as you're blocking with, which is faster, quicker. Here, bang there, and then you're finishing by moving aside so you can punch him. So, the next technique, number nine, is somewhat similar, it begins the same way. Uh, this time, again, he's punching here. I'm coming here and striking him here. Nope, it's got here. <laughs> I'm striking him here, but this time, after I strike him, I'm going to grab a hold of it. Okay? So, here, bang here, and I punch with the other hand grabbing here. Now, I'm set up for a knee kick to the groin, which is he thinks is going to happen. So I make a big knee kick and he pulls it back out of the way. I change it to a stomp to the knee. So the surprise element is that when he sees that kick coming, he pulls it back out of the way. The surprise is it wasn't that at all. It was this. Okay. So that's number six and number nine. Uh, you'll find these techniques in the article and newsletter, in the March issue of the newsletter. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you.